talk about a match made in heaven. If you enjoy using glaives, or more importantly, the winter bite exotic glaive, then you're going to want to try this build out. In the background gameplay, you'll see me using this build in the master dungeon. If you enjoy build videos like this one, make sure to subscribe because we have some bangers coming out this season. Now what's so special about this build in particular? It allows you to freeze literally everything while constantly creating stasis shards and orbs of power that will heal you and give you infinite overshields. And if that wasn't enough, it also has insane DPS and can deal with all champions with ease. Starting off with the featured exotic, we have the Triton Vice. Its exotic perk, Alberter's Reach. Increases glaive reload speed and melee damage when surrounded. Glaive melee final blows overflow around to the magazine. Glaive projectile final blows detonate if the glaive deals damage matching your subclass type. So whenever you're surrounded with combatants, your glaives reload faster and deal significantly more damage. I believe it's the same as the surrounded perk itself, so it's like 30 or 40 percent increased damage. Also glaive melee final blows will put an extra round into your magazine and as long as your subclass that you're wearing matches the glaive you're using then whenever you get a range kill with that glaive it will the target will detonate and blow up an aoe as of right now you can get this exotic doing legendary or master lost sectors or you can try to get lucky and do the neo Muna public event and as for our exotic weapon we're using the winter bite exotic glaive its perk is fires a large ball of energy that locks onto nearby targets and freezes them also this weapon's melee attacks deal increased damage and slow targets Targets when loaded with ammo. So the Winter's Bite combined with Triton's Vice makes for some insane combos and gameplay loops. To make this build even better, you can use a fusion rifle like the Riptide that has Chill Clip. Anything with Chill Clip makes this build that much better. And for your energy weapon, you can really use anything you want. Now let's get into the subclass, Revenant. With this build, we're going to be able to get our super back pretty quickly. So you're going to always want to be just popping your super on either group's ads or even for boss damage. For our abilities, we're going to be using Gambler's Dodge. Whenever you dodge nearby enemies, it's going to recharge your melee ability. The melee ability Withering Blade toss a shuriken at target to damage and slow them. It provides two charges, and with all the stasis shards we're going to be creating, you're going to be constantly having your melee up, so you should be spamming it as often as possible to slow and freeze targets to create more stasis shards. For a grenade, we're using the Dustfield Grenade, a grenade that shatters on impact leaving behind a field that slows and freezes those who do not leave the volume. For our aspects, we are using Grim Harvest. Defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy when picked up by you or your allies. This will again allow you to be using your Withered Blade quite a bit. Picking up these shards will also be giving you armor charges from the mods that we'll be using. Touch of Winter. Your grenades have enhanced functionality. The Dustfield Grenade increases the slow field size and creates a small stasis crystal on impact. For our fragments, we're using Whisper of Chains. While you're near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. You're going to constantly be freezing targets, and also your Dustfield Grenade will have a stasis crystal in it, so you'll be taking reduced damage anytime you're near these frozen combatants. Whisper of Conduction. Nearby stasis shards track to your position. This gives us some nice stats, but also we don't have to go out of our way to collect the crystals. They'll just come to us as long as we're nearby. Whisper of Fissures. Increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. Again, everything's going to be frozen from this build, so the blast radius that you get from it is going to just destroy or damage everything nearby. Whisper of Bonds. Defeating frozen targets grants you super energy. Everything you're going to kill is going to pretty much be frozen, so you're going to be getting your super back quite a bit with this. And most importantly, Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. So with the infinite amount of stasis shards that we will be creating with this build, you're going to always be having an overshield up. As far as the seasonal artifact goes, there's really nothing you can use for stasis. But if you're planning on using like a void or arc weapon, you should probably have the void or arc authorized mods. You should have the melee authorized mods because we're going to be using Using some melee mods and if you're doing any content with champions you should be using counter charge to gain stacks of armor charge when you stun a champion also you want to be using unstoppable glaive if you're dealing with any unstops because we have a glaive for our armor
armor, it's important to always have high resilience. So try to get that 10 out of 10 for your resilience. It's going to make you a lot tankier and your survivability will go way up. For mods, starting in the helmet, I'm using a void secondary. So I have void siphon and stasis siphon. So I'll be getting rapid final blows with void or stasis. Weapons will be creating orbs of power for me. For that final mod, I'm using hands on gain super energy on melee kills. We're going to be using our melee a lot and our melee will be killing a lot of things with its shatter effect. This will help you get your super back white quickly. In our gauntlets, we're using heavy handed. Your powered melee final blows create orbs of power just to get more orbs of power with those melees. And impact induction, causing damage with melee attacks reduces your grenade cooldown. In your chest piece, it's kind of preference. Whatever content you're in, you should be using resist mods. And if you have any extra slots available, you can use charge it up to increase the maximum number of stacks of armor charges you can carry by one. For our boots, we're using reciprocation. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power. This is going to increase your survivability by a lot. Elemental charge. Collecting a fire sprite, ionic trace, stasis shard, or void breach, or destroying a strand tangled has an escalating chance to give you armor charge. You're creating essentially an infinite amount of stasis shards, so this is going to allow you to get armor charges really easily. And finally in there, we're using stasis weapon surge. Your stasis weapons gain a small amount of damage while you have any armor charge. And our armor charge now decays over time. In your class item, you should be using powerful attraction. This is good pretty much on any build. Automatically collects nearby orbs of power when you activate your class ability. So anytime you dodge, you're going to be collecting all the orbs of power nearby, which is going to give you a lot of benefits and instantly give you a bunch of health back. As well as bomber, reduce grenade cooldown when using your class ability and reaper after using your class ability your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power this is definitely one of the most unique builds you can run and it's an insane amount of fun you should definitely get out there and try it out for yourself and in the description of this video i'll have a dim link for you so you so you can easily copy the build and quickly swap out things if you need to and let me know in the comments below what your favorite glaive build is and with that get outside and touch some grass